Hello, my name is Will Thorndike. I'm the managing director of Housatonic Partners, and I'm here to discuss my book, The Outsiders, published by Harvard Business Review Press. For any CEO, the ultimate scorecard is the growth in per share value over the course of their tenure compared to the broader market and their peer group. There's a clear analogy with Duplicate Bridge. In each of the eight CEOs profiled in this book dramatically outperformed both their peers and Jack Welch during his tenure at GE. In doing this, each of the eight profiled in the book took a very specific set of actions that were very different from their peers but very similar to each other, particularly as it relates to the activity of capital allocation. And it was this pattern, the strength of this pattern, that was the uh, most significant finding and the greatest surprise in the researching of the book. A CEO needs to do two things well to be successful. First, they need to optimize the long-term profitability of their business. And second, they need to deploy or invest the profits generated by that business. That second activity is known as capital allocation. And uh, stated simply, two CEOs with identical operating results, the same levels of revenue and profitability, but different approaches to capital allocation will drive two very different long-term results for their shareholders. The performance of these CEOs was extraordinary. Uh, they outperformed the S&P on average by 20-fold over the course of their tenure, and they outperformed their peer group by over seven-fold. In doing this, they followed a remarkably similar blueprint, including significant share repurchases, uh, low dividends, occasional use of leverage, uh, extreme sensitivity to tax consequences, a preference for decentralized organizations, and occasional large acquisitions. Each of the eight chapters in the book was the product of a research partnership with a second year student at the Harvard Business School who was able to get full course credit for the work. And each of these projects followed a very similar template with the first semester devoted to intensive analytical work on the subject company and the peer group, peer companies, and the second semester devoted to detailed interviews with the CEOs, other members of the management team, uh, investors, board members, and everybody who had any, in, any um, interactions of any sort in detail with the company. I think the primary finding that's relevant for HR professionals in this book is somewhat counterintuitive, and it is that talent often trumps experience. So if you look across the eight outsider CEOs who drove these uh, exceptional results, each of them was a first-time CEO half not yet 40 when they took the job, and only two had MBAs, which attests to the value of uh, fresh eyes and new thinking and openness to new approaches. I think the relevance of that for an HR professional is it, it points to the value of looking to successful younger executives who may be ready to make a leap in an organization earlier than, than others might normally think. Mm -hmm.